Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew from HTC One Soft Modern, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the HTC Sense TV app to replace your remote control in your living room. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Play Store and download the HTC Sense TV app. It's just on the regular Play Store, so just go ahead and install that. It should be able to install on the One and any other Android phone that has an IR Blaster. Okay, after you install the app, you hit Open, and then well, the first time it runs, you're going to want to get set up to be with your TV. So just make sure your TV is off, and then just point your phone directly towards it. Alright, so after you have your TV turned off, just go ahead and, go ahead and click Next on the phone. Um, select your country, so it's United States. Put in your zip code. Select your TV provider. Hit Next. Select your channels. And then if you have any streaming services, you could also check those. You can also start selecting your favorite apps, but you go ahead and do that later from within the app as well. And hit OK. Now to set up the remote, just hit the uh, remote icon on top. Um, hit Next. Um, select what you wanted to um, set up. So for this time, instead of set up the TV, but you can also set up your cable box and your home theater system as well. So after you hit next, select the brand. I'm using a Samsung, so just use Samsung. There's a bunch of different TV manufacturers, so your TV should be able to uh, match up with one of them on the list. Uh, um, so make sure you have your TV off, and then just hit on turn on TV. All right, my TV turned on right away. So that means that's the first code. If not, you can hit no, and then you can select a different TV um, code to run to turn on your TV. So after it's working, hit yes. Check out the input toggle. That one worked, so I'm going to hit yes so that it worked. And then after that, the setup is complete. So just click OK, and then you'll be able to start using your TV with the remote. There's a bunch of like different options like menu, and then you can change the channel and all that. If you have it set up with your home theater system or your cable box, that'll also control that as well. Um, after you have that set up, you can just start using the app as your regular one. Um, I'm going to go over some of the features right now with you. Alright, so the main page of the app just has a bunch of um, different TV shows that are on for you. If you have your favorite set up, it'll start using um, those to find TV shows that are already on. And um, it'll recommend them for you. It syncs up with your whatever provider, whatever TV provider that you have. It syncs up with their channel guide. So you'll also be able to look at it in the sidebar. You'll be able to see that it has recommended shows, even TV, movies, and sports that are on. My picks is where all your favorites would be at. Um, I don't have any set up right now, but if they were, they'd be right here. You could also add them. So if you say if you want to add it in a show like The Walking Dead, you just search for it, find it, and then um, hit the heart on the top, and it'll be in your favorites. So then it'll just give you notifications, and you can also check out the TV schedule as well. Also from the sidebar, you can see that you have live scores. So if you go ahead on there, you will see that it has um, all like the any kind of game that's going on. It'll give you the live updated score. Right now, there's no games going on currently, so you can't see anything. But if they were, they'd be updated as well. From the sidebar, you also see a, um, a channel guide. So that's pretty much the same thing that you would find on your TV guide. Um, so after you find a show that you like, you could just hit it, and then you'll be able to hit, hit watch now, and then it'll automatically just turn it on, switch that channel on your TV. And um, you could also favorite here from as, as well. You can also check out the TV schedule. Um, the settings app is pretty bare bones. These have a few options. So you could like add and remove um, some of your remotes that you have. You could hide shows in the channel guide. The streaming services, you'll be able just to select which ones you have if you ever subscribe to them. Um, Auto wake, it's kind of it, it kind of like works sometimes. It's pretty much whenever you have the TV like remote app running. And you lock your phone locks down. You put it down. Whenever you pick it up, it'll automatically wake it. But um, that kind of works sometimes, not all the time. Um, location, just set up your the setting up your location, and you could also connect it to Facebook and Twitter to let people know what you're watching and to see what other what your friends are watching also. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, this, like I said, this will be uh, this will work on any HTC One model, either either the M7 or the M8, and this should also work with any Android that has an IR blaster in it, like the Galaxy S4 or S5. Um, I hope this helped you guys out in getting this set up. Be sure to check out the full the full uh, article on HTC One Soft Modder, and like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.